Another developing story this evening, potential landmark cases today at the U.S. Supreme Court. These cases could change the lives of tens of thousands of people here in Arizona and millions across the country. The question at play here is can an employer legally discriminate against someone just because they're gay or transgender? T12's Bram Resnick spoke to a transgender advocate about what it's like to know a boss is free to fire her because of who she is. Yeah, under federal law, it's illegal to discriminate against a woman at work. It is not illegal to discriminate against the transgender woman doing the same job. Transgender advocate Brianna Westbrook tells me she's seeing that firsthand. She can't find a job in a business that's starred for workers. It's been a, a turbulent um, job hunt. Transgender advocate Brianna Westbrook has worked in the car business for more than a decade, but she can't find work right now. I've had a track record of success, and the fact that it's more difficult now because of who I am is, is, is not good. Who Westbrook believes her gender identity is a problem for employers. The U.S. Supreme Court could change all that. On Tuesday, the justices heard the case of Amy Stevens, fired by a Michigan funeral home after telling her boss she was transgender. She argues the 1964 federal civil rights law should cover gender identity. What happened to me was wrong. Stevens' boss contends she violated the funeral home dress code by changing her wardrobe after dressing as a man for years. I've seen an intent to violate the dress code by dressing and presenting as a woman when working with grieving families. Brianna Westbrook knows what she wants the high court to do. Transgender people look like everybody else um, and that we deserve the same amount of protections as any other person in the United States of America. But what would that mean to her? I don't think it's going to change anything immediately, but what I do think is it's going to continue to, to change the conversation. And the funeral home's attorney was supplied by Scottsdale-based Alliance Defending Freedom. That's the Christian legal advocacy group that challenged Phoenix's LGBT civil rights ordinance. A U.S. Supreme Court ruling on federal protections for LGBT Americans is expected in the spring, right in the middle of a presidential election. Let's send it back to you. Bram, thanks.